And the great thing about this craft is you get to play with perspective. It can be done in one hour, it's super easy, and it's not really that messy. And this would be a good craft for a classroom. Or an art studio. And we have some really exciting news coming out, guys. We are going to be, all our videos are going to be streamed on a new streaming service called Yippee.tv. And we hope you guys come and check us out. Yippee TV is a new streaming service for kids and families, and it's safer than YouTube. Yippee! And if you're new to our show, hi, I'm Riley, I'm Reese, and I'm Grace. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. For more videos in the future, make sure to hit that notification bell. Now on to the video. The best tip that we can give you guys for this craft is to choose your scrapbook paper for your coffee mug first so you can balance all your other colors, such as the tablecloth and the wallpaper, off of your design. And the things you'll be needing for this craft are one canvas, newspaper, scrapbook paper, Martha Stewart paints, any color of your choice. Cotton balls, and we're going to use this to make our steam. Paint brushes, and, and scissors. scissors, any color of your choice. So let's get started. The first step is to draw your horizon line, which will separate your wallpaper from your tablecloth. After you draw your horizon line, we are going to start with our tablecloth first. Mom, will you draw my horizon line? So we go with it. While Grace is finishing up her tablecloth, Riley and I are going to start painting on our newspaper, which will become the texture of the wall. When you guys are doing this craft, you can do it a couple different ways. You can take a whole sheet and lay it across like Reese did, or you can rip it up in little different pieces, which I'm doing. And now I'm going to paint my wallpaper. Why is it sticking? And they do blue with polka dots. And we love doing mixed media with newspaper because the texture really shows through. So far, it has turned out really well. And now I'm making my saucer, which my coffee cup will sit on. All right guys, so now I'm going to make my coffee cup. Now that I have traced where I want my coffee cup to be, I'm going to cut it out. This is about a four inch by seven inch rectangle. Now you're going to fold it over about half an inch on both sides, just like that. And then you're going to put Mod Podge right here. So not flat, which looks something. It should look something like this when you're done. Now we're going to make it a handle. To make the handle, you're going to want to draw a U shape on the end of the paper. Spot check. It should look like this. 
So now I'm going to glue this on. The final touch is to make some steam. So what you're going to do is pull apart your cotton balls. Cover your canvas wherever you want to put your steam and Mod Podge. And place your steam in there. I'm going to do more. And you do want it to thin out as you get to the top. 